Under pressure, rolls, close to the goal, out of the back, touchdown! Because he doesn't have some of the surrounding... Dude, look at that, look at that. Hauser scrambles. focusing on the run because we saw how uh, Connie Green's a powerhouse. We also know they can pass because Patrick Henry. So we're just working both of that. And first half we, went, we were just not doing as good, but then we had that halftime. Our coach was hyping us up, hyping us up, and we we couldn't be stopped. He gave us that motivation we needed. We were we were running. There's no stopping us right now. And there was a couple other uh, great catches he made today too. Uh, and. Let, let's talk about your quarterback. I mean, how great he was tonight yeah. and uh, on point. Yeah, they they definitely stepped up as QBs. Like from week one to where we are now, it's crazy. They they've really stepped it up. That's what and we I mean, it, it really started with Chula Vista. You know, you're that was one of those must-win games. Yeah. You won against Chula Vista, and then to start off league and to be able to win. I mean, this this Tony Burner Cup is huge uh, for for several reasons and to be able to win this one on their turf after they upset you guys last year on your turf, that's really got to be huge. We know how, we know how bad Coach Ash wanted it, and that, that's just made, it, made us want to play just as hard as he would if he could play. And uh, any other uh, players that you'd like to call your teammates that helped you helped you actually win this defense. game? Our defense helped us. Without our defense, we would have won. That's just bad. Anybody in particular, though? Uh, that Steven, Jake. Dylan, all, all, pretty much everyone, honestly. No one really had a bad game. Uh, we're coming hard at them. We, we saw like them talking smack at us about on, East, uh, on the rankings, so we're, we're, not, we're not letting off the gas on them. Uh, I mean, it's one of those things where we just had play situations down the goal line. We've been showing a lot of cover zero, playing all man across the board down there. Just a change up, just run a cover two zone. And luckily, Steven just played it right where he played a little deeper, kind of caught him in a trap where he thinks he has basically playing over the top. They ran a post corner, and Steven was just anticipating it, made a great play, and just made a catch and run, man. That guy's one of the smaller guys in the county, and he's just a dog out there, man. He just makes plays, and no matter how big the players are he's playing against, he just shows up, man. Well, we talked about that earlier in the week about, uh, you know, these smaller guys and, and how they can uh, find those seams. And obviously you saw a mismatch out there, oh, yeah. and you saw an opening, you took it. And, I mean, you got to give credit to your quarterback, too, oh, for yeah. launching it. Uh, what do you have to say about, uh, I mean, Tell me about your quarterback. I mean, it's, a lot of people think that we're just a triple option team. We can't throw the ball. So a lot of teams stack the box. And Kip showed that if we stack the box, we can take advantage of it. And Gerardo, man, he's, he's, he's been through a lot just thinking about it as a senior and finally in to get his chance after Jordan. And he made the play through just in a perfect spot. And Cole made probably the play of the year, man. That's just, that's just big. That's how we play, man. doesn't matter what we look like. We're just a ragtag bunch. We only got 25. And... We're out here playing with some of the best offenses in the county. We held them 14 points, man. That's that's a huge victory for us, man. I mean, and how, how about the halfback pass? I mean, <laughs> I mean that that was one of the uh, – was that drawn up too? Was yeah, that... man. I mean, Cole's a complete athlete, so he can do all things, man. He can throw the ball. He can catch the ball. He can catch and run in a couple times too. So we're just we're just a ragtag bunch. We're fighting and – we're gonna we're gonna do something this year, man. So like the hills, the valley, the hills league is great, but the valley league is something to say too, man. The Girls Spot Conference as a whole is a really good conference of football. Well, I mean, you came out here. Uh, El Cap came out firing uh, pretty quick. I mean, you even talked about it earlier in the week. I mean, they got a high powered offense oh, yeah. uh, with Donnie Green and with uh, with Kowser, Whether it's uh, running the ball or uh, he's got a really accurate arm. And he was launching quite a few of them. Uh, tell me about your uh, safeties coming over top, though, and your DBs. I mean, I mean, I mean, it starts with Kip, Kip, and Dylan Snyder, who stepped in for B Green, who got injured, got injured in the middle of the week. 
But Kip set the, or Kip set the tone with that big hit on uh, on Yokely over the middle. I think that third quarter we kind of woke up, even though they scored, we stayed in it. And then just at the end, that play with with Kit or with Cole in the back of the end zone, and then Steven stepping up big in the end zone. I mean, we lost Jake in that drive, and it looked a little dim for a second, but we stepped up. And just made one play to win the game. And last but not least, mm. I know that's not your. Uh, your portion, but mm. what do you think about your special teams? How, how oh, they man. played? I mean, come on. I mean, we got we get we that's we spend a lot of a lot of time on special teams during the week. So any little advantage we can get, Cole got a big first down on a on a fake punt that extended the drive. And I mean, special teams even on that after the, when they scored, Steven busts a fifty yard run. I mean, we just we all facets of the game we killed it tonight, man. I'm really proud of these guys. So on the El Cajon next week, so we got to keep on building into lead. I was going to ask you that too, actually. You know, uh, El Cajon had a, uh, they had a tough one last week. Uh, you know, the, uh, and, and, and not to take anything away oh, from yeah. Vincent Memorial. I mean, number one in D5 team. Mm. Uh, I don't know if you saw that film, but that quarterback was phenomenal. Mm. Um, so they did play a legitimate, uh, oh, yeah. really great team. Um, and I know that you guys won't take El Cajon lightly oh, no. or anybody lightly in the Valley. I mean, everybody's actually pretty competitive. Oh, yeah. Um, but uh, how do you feel about going into that game? I mean, it'll be our homecoming game, so these guys will be kind of busy during the week trying to do all the festivities and all that, but we just got we can't get complacent. We can't get too high after a big win like this, man. We got to carry it on the league and keep it up, man. So hopefully El Cajon is just a stepping stone, and then the game it can't be a, a trap game when we're getting ready for Santana the week after that. We got to stay focused on El Cajon and bring that W home. And then uh, also, I mean, anybody you uh, noticed just tonight that you'd want to give uh, great credit to uh, I mean, that you that you saw it on the field. I know it's a team effort, yeah. but there had to be a couple of that you saw out there that just did a tremendous job. Oh, D line man, Andreas Mendoza, uh, uh, Ruiz Castaneda, Nathan Sanchez, Nick Rodriguez. They all came to play. We were we had a nice little rotation. They're the guys that were putting pressure on Wick. He had to escape out of the pocket. He didn't really step and throw into a lot of the good stuff because we were putting a lot of pressure. Jake Blitzen. So, yeah, it was a whole defense between, but those guys are front. They set the tone, and, I mean, we got away with one at the end, but I'll take it, man. Burner Cup feels really good this year. Quarterback, 